Hello guys and welcome to the Peak MTB. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put on a bike pump like the one you see in front of you. So let's get started. So first of all, what you're going to do is you're going to take off your cup holder, just like you see right here. By untightening the Allen bolts with your Allen wrench, start with the top and work your way down. Or you can start down and work your way to the top, it doesn't really matter. But you're going to take off the cup holder just like so. And then you're going to take your mounting bracket. You can buy these on Amazon with or without um, with or without the bike pump. But no matter what, you're going to have to have a bike pump and the bracket. Get it lined up with the cup holder Allen bolt spots. And then you're going to thread an Allen bolt through the bottom. The reason I say the bottom is because that's the easiest to get to. And um, it's better to start off with the easiest thing. Just yeah, um, get this started. It will save you some time and frustration but you're going to get this down you're going to stick it into the mounting um, spot take your allen wrench again and tighten that on there after that you're going to um, thread another allen bolt through the top like you'll see here in a second and you're going to tighten that one of the things that um, people ask is if i have co2 cartridges do i need to have a bike pump and the answer i give is always yes because those co2 cartridges sometimes break like the seal breaks and there's no co2 left in it so that leaves you stranded out there in the middle of a trail in colorado no one's going to be around there unless you're at like a bike park but after that you're just going to wait and make sure it's snug